coming up with the concept for this show meant having to take a look at what I feel like you guys have sticking points in your lives that I've noticed from you over the years. And then I got to a point where I was like, hmm, if we know that it's always the ego's job to throw up objections, is there ever a point where ego is a really, really positive aspect of life? And if it is a positive aspect, why the hell would we want to get rid of it? So I think it's a good time with the beginning of the year to revisit the idea of ego deconstruction. All right. Ego deconstruction, which is, again, the most important part of you guys getting past all the limiting beliefs inside your life on a daily basis and how those things are set up right underneath our noses, making it super necessary for us to break down that ego and to get to the other side. Ego killer motivation. Johan Francis. Happy New Year. It's 2024. And that has to mean something somewhere, right? It equals up to the number eight, which I was told a long time ago was a lucky number in, I think, like the Far East. Well, even if it's a lucky number right here, even if it isn't, let's make it a lucky number by coming out this thing, sprinting fully. But, however, don't sprint too fast. Sprint. Sprint as it pertains to whether you're going to walk or you're going to crawl or you're just going to jog towards your goals. Nah, you're going to sprint. First thing, cooking is you sprinting (laughs) full on into those goals right there. Getting that mindset wrapped around, yes, I'm going to do that this year and every year. But what I actually do not want you to do is act like a front runner and then run out of steam right around Valentine's Day as we talked about on the resolution episode. What I want you guys to do is to sprint, but to leave some in the tank. 2024 is a 400 meter run, my friends. Ain't no 100 meters. We're going to leave some in a tank right there for the middle of the year and so on. And it is a good time to smash the reset button or the replay button on ego killer motivation and what it is that we're out here doing. And along the way, I'm going to give you guys some repeatable actionable steps that you could take to get over the finish line and get yourself into a new situation we peel back those layers of the human condition in order to get there you know we've been doing that and we're going to continue to peel back those layers to figure out what it is a long time ago for me i realized from meeting up with hundreds of you inside the walls of this very gym that i'm sitting in right now it's the ego the ego can be a male ego can be a female ego right male ego or female ego we often associate over dominating egos with that of toxic masculinity right the idea that the male ego is so huge and obnoxious that no other sources of ideas and creativity can exist when that male ego is stepped inside the room right there but then i remember sitting in this very spot and having a conversation with one of my um members here and we were talking about the nature of a female ego and what a female ego actually looks like and we were bouncing this off of each other and she was the one actually as she was doing some um like kettlebell complexes she was shooting it back right at me like what about the female ego what does a female ego looks like and comes to figure out it doesn't really necessarily um matter when it comes to what holds us up so what we're going to do is figure out the means to deconstruct that thing all right to deconstruct what we perceive the ego to be inside of all fighting spaces where you're training we're you're working hard inside of fight gyms we realize that the ego is your worst worst enemy right when i was younger i used to play football and your ego is actually your best friend out there on the football field because it is allowing you to transform into a larger than life sense of self in order to ignore the very real prospect of physical harm that's coming to you in every one of these minor car crashes that you're about to get into well inside of martial arts inside of any type of activity incorporating mind and body ego is not really the business could get you hurt ego's your best friend that runs off at the mouth 
way too much. Right? And Bully said, who said that? And your best friend who just can't stop running off at the mouth at the wrongest times ever. Yeah, I said it. It was me right here. And he's about to back me up. She's about to back me up. And you're like, huh? What? No, no, no. No, no. That's you. Right? You ever try to impress if you're in a new relationship? Your future paramour right there. And someone says something f- foul. They talk bad about your your future. Your future boo. Future bu- boo's got a bucket that they're driving around. And you hear someone talk bad on it. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh. Better go smack the Oscar producer, presenter in the head real quick. All right? That's that ego that we're talking about. That's that ego. That ego that makes us act in ways that is not really according to who our, who we really are. And why is that? Why is that? In our daily life, it can be challenging for us to maintain a sense of accomplishment simply by showing up and being you or me. And that's the sad truth about it. Let's break it down. I have the highest hopes for you guys in 2024. Let me know what you guys are trying to do this year that's different than any other year. All right. What is it about 2024 that's going to make you get over the hump? Not resolution based. We don't do that. That's running out the gate really, really too fast. You're getting over your skis, as they say, right? That's you getting in front of your, ahead of your skis real quick. No, 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 no. We're going to get behind your steez instead for 2024. Your stylings, who you are. All right, that's what we're doing early on. Let me know what it looks like. And then go to the website, get your free stuff. I got free jump starts right there. As we continue to break down of self-image, right? Because the demands are high, my friends. They're really, they're sky high, right? You know them stakes is high. Whenever I think of that phrase, I always think of that old De La Soul song. You know those stakes are high? The stakes are high on an everyday uh, kind of movement that we have. We have demands professionally. We're expected to show up. We're expected to have or at least compete with having the biggest and the best. And because those stakes are so very high for us, we don't oftentimes come. So what we are is ill-equipped personally. To rise up to those challenges. At least that's what we think. Alright? At least that's what we're taught. That's what we think. We're not ready to rise up to those challenges. And so what we often do is we retreat to the comfort of excuses. Oh man. We retreat to the comfort of excuses. I'm to this. I don't want to show my greatness. I'm not smart enough. I'm not young enough someone's going to beat me to the punch intellectually and physically i'm really my family's been poor all my life i've been poor but it really doesn't matter no more right but there's no way that i can break that cycle i'm supposed to be broke i'm out here trying to get the bag that doesn't suit who i am got to fall back these are the things that the ego is always going to tell us. I wasn't meant to be a mother, right? I could barely hold the baby. When I think about holding the baby, right, I'm like Tiki Barber trying to run that football 25, 25 yards up field in the early 2000s, right? I got to go high and tight instead of just letting it fly. I wasn't meant to have children. Whatever the narrative is, because we have these huge expectations, more so professionally, and I've seen it from you guys. We're often telling ourselves that we should now be out here achieving stuff. Nope. And why is that? Right? Why is that? Because our ego is too easily placated. Our, e- our ego, our ego becomes easily placated. Our ego just wants, you know what I'm saying? A sandwich and their favorite channel left on TV and they're happy and that's it. And basically what we mean is ego just wants to be comfortable. And so anything that relates to comfortability, your ego is like, yeah, sign me up for that. And if it 
means that you have to be even a little bit uncomfortable because again that's where real change is made ego's like nah that's that's not what we're doing don't give me any of that let me just chill off in the cut all right we need to break that down did i mention And not only is the ego part of us that is overly concerned with identity, it's like someone that's overly concerned with the fact that they're the boss. And I say the boss because they have to have a title that not everyone else has. The ego is is, can personify someone or be personified as somebody who is all too happy that they are, you know what I'm saying, that they got that job title and they're going to lord it over your head at every given second right there. You ever meet somebody like that? They're never going to break kayfabe because they're the boss already, right? Trying to dangle that over your head at every every given point. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that feels that they have to pull rank, no matter what the circumstances call for, oh, really? You're going to break off and go to lunch early? That's not what we do around here. I get to do that. You don't because I've earned the position, right? That type of uh, That type of discourse ever go on with you guys? Well, we know what happens there. I used to know a guy um, when I was younger, and I watched him become an assistant manager in like a ridiculously short amount of time. They must have been understaffed over there, right, over there at Blockbuster. And I watched my friend become a manager in a ridiculously short amount of time. Not enough people working there at Blockbuster. And... uh Man, did he love to tell everybody around himself that he got there with the quicks and he liked to shake them keys right in your face. I'm talking about leaving for lunch. I'm talking about (laughs) getting those free CDs. I'm talking about handing them out because I get those free CDs because I'm the, I've been the fastest (laughs) lead manager in blockbuster history type stuff. I'm talking about that. Let me know if you want tickets because I can get that. That's pure ego right there. And again, based on comfort. That's what we talk about on Ego Killer Motivation when we talk about that ego. Let's break it down. How do we do it? How do we get past that point to where we're not driven by that thing? We got to think. You literally got to activate your gray matter. All right. You got to interpret information about yourself and stop and understand How you see yourself is not the most important thing. How you see yourself is not the most important thing. That you can understand yourself is super important. Not the way that you see yourself. All right. That is a, this is like a super meta concept. The idea of social comparison, comparing yourself, the ego of comparison, reshaping the role of self-image by not chilling with people or with someone who only takes a look at cultural norms and societal standards and says, yeah, I'm going to do that, right? If we're paying too much attention to those things, we're being run by ego. Our ego is out here dog walking us, telling us, yo, go there. I need you to jump. I need you to act really, really safe when it doesn't call for it. And then I need you guys, too, if we're breaking down this ego and going forward together because I need a partner. I need a bunch of partners. I need you guys to move with me on this tip. Internalization of your feedback. Think about feedback from others, past experiences, and um, internalizing beliefs, right, that form your self-perception. Think about those. And then, well, you know what it is, right? Start working out. Hit the gym. You knew that was coming because that's a place where we're going to see our perceived perceived limitations. Build up that what? That toughness, that resiliency that we talk about and start to break down some of those self-imposed barriers. Learn to fight, my friends. Start getting back into the gym. Start learning your martial arts, learning them details. All of those things that are going to break down the self-imposed prison. I'm talking about that minimum security prison though i'm not talking about that hard hard i'm talking about that low vacation still a still a cell still self-imposed but i'm talking about that 
ego being the prison or self-contained maybe a little bit too much right there. Adopting a healthier lifestyle is us reassessing our values and priorities. So that's what's on tap for 2024. And I need you guys to make those moves to get it popping this year. Whatever you do, make sure that, yeah, sprint out the gate. But we're going to do the impossible. We're going to keep sprinting the whole year. All right? We're going to keep sprinting the whole year and not be front runners when we talk about these goals. Let me know how it goes. Let me know whatever else I asked you today. All right? I think it was what are we going to get after in 2024. Let me know what it is. All right, and I'm going to leave you with that one. Tomorrow, we're back at it. Pulse check Thursday. We're going to check some more pulses and listen to some more fight motivation stories on the YouTubes and on the website. Get your free stuff. Until then, make sure you stay all the way up.